I'll yeah. get there. Yeah, she got I'll it. Get there. Yeah. I'll get there, <laughs> Joe. Uh, but yeah, a gorgeous day out there. We're in the 90s taking a look at Pueblo from our Southwest Motors camera, Highway 50 and Wills Boulevard. Starting to see a little clouds, and it looks like that camera's moving just a hair, so we yep. might be seeing some wind. Yep, gusty winds. I mean, it was a hot day, but now clouds moving in, so we're enjoying some shade. So nice change of pace, because if you are outside for this long, one of these, these uh, first batches of heat mm -hmm. this year, you know, you get dehydrated rather quicker, so it's always dangerous that yeah. first heat up every summer. Yeah, good reminder. And uh, taking a look, though, from the KRDO studios, time lapse over the last two hours or so, you can see it was mostly sunny for a majority of the day. Now we're watching clouds, though, begin to build as that air is pushing up and over the mountains. We're going to see some precipitation possible over the next few hours or so. Actually, from that Cheyenne Mountain camera, before this frame did update, we saw some uh, rain trying to make it to the ground, but it's so dry, some of that rain is evaporating before it's reaching. Temperatures right now around the region, though, along the front range, we're sitting in the mid to upper 90s, Pueblo at 101 degrees. As you head out east over the plains, Lamar, Springfield, both coming in at 100 degrees. So it's just flat out hot and dry if you are out and about today. So 24 hours ago at this time, Temperatures today anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees above where we were. And this is going to be the same pattern that we do see as we head throughout the next few days or so. As I did mention, we do have some rain showers starting to develop west of the mountains. And over the next few hours or so, we're going to watch those progress towards our area. And they will be able to survive all the way out towards the Kansas border. So timing this out for you, by 8 o'clock, we should see as widespread of activity as we're going to get today. Then as we do, push this ahead, though, the next few hours. So 10 o'clock overnight, we're going to watch some of these cells make it out towards the eastern Easter play, eastern plains, sorry about that, where they could be a bit stronger, able to produce some small hail, even uh, bring down those temperatures just a bit. So it does bring a little bit of relief. Then those showers quickly move out overnight tonight. Clouds build just in time for your morning, where once again, we're going to watch the very stray chance of a shower tomorrow. So. After these next two days, though, rain looks out of the forecast for quite a bit. For tomorrow, though, along the front range, Pueblo 101 degrees, so another very hot day in store. Colorado Springs 94, that could actually break or tie a record, depending on just how high those temperatures do get. Head out towards the plains, up above 100 degrees, the low to mid 100s on tap for tomorrow. Certainly limit your time outside, enjoy excessive amounts in the sunshine, and stay hydrated if you do have to be out and about for an excessive period of time. As I did say, for Sunday, we're forecasting 94 degrees in downtown Colorado Springs. That would tie a record from 1956. And then as we do head into Monday, it's where we're forecasting one degree below that record. But as you do know, things can change a few days out. So we are certainly going to be keeping an eye on these next two days, potentially record-breaking heat for this time of the year moving in towards the, the region. Now, we do have a red flag morning that goes into effect tomorrow. This is uh, up to 50 mile per hour wind gusts, and that lack of rain, those uh, dry conditions, well, that's going to create the fire threat down in Los Animas, Werfano, and Custer County. So certainly stay aware of that if you are planning to burn tomorrow. And as I did say, though, the next two days, we do have a few scattered showers possible. Push it out there through the first half of your work week. Looks like those rain chances come to an end. Just in time for your weekend, though, once again, going to be keeping an eye on the possibility of a scattered shower or two Friday. And then as we do head into the weekend, rain chances linger just a bit. So now for your seven-day forecast, Woodland Park, we're going to see the chance of some showers for the next two days clear out for the first half of that work week. Temperatures slightly above average. Canyon City, similar situation, really enjoying that heat. Nice break, though, as we do get towards the middle of the work week. Plenty of sunshine to go around. For Pueblo, we're going to be seeing triple-digit temperatures in the forecast for the next three days or so before we get a brief break. And then Colorado Springs also enjoying that heat, potentially record-breaking for the next two days.